Hello everyone, welcome to 123 Simply Craft and Mary Lou Stamping a Demonstrator in Australia. I post a video every Friday, so if you like my videos, please subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. For today's class, I thought I'll show you how to make this little box. It's, it's a pretty good size. Um, now what size is it? Let's check. The size is three inches, three by two and seven eighths, and it oh, is reinforced, so it's very steady, and also with the lid. So I'm gonna show you how to do, with a single layer, a very simple layer, how to do a very steady box. Super easy, super simple. All right. Also, I have made this cute little flower, and I will show you how to do the little flower. And I use, um, I have used the gilded leafing to do that. Normally, when I do something like this, I use gold glitter. But I thought if you got, it's just another another way of using the leafing so i will show you how to do that but the color that i use for this one is the orchid oasis cardstock and designer paper for the 2022 2024 um new in colors and designer paper so i thought just to have a bit of variety i would use a different color this time i'm gonna be using the sweet sorbet so i'm using the sweet sorbet cardstock and the sweet sorbet designer paper and this time instead of a flower i will thought i make a little bag i think it's, it's whoop, super cute little bag to put on top of the box but i'm gonna show you how how i did that as well okay so for this project we need for the box eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter and the designer paper, we need five and seven eight by five and seven eight because this designer paper, the um, the ink colors come six by six. So I wanted to make sure that the project that I do is that we can use our six by sixes. Um, and then we need some some scraps to decorate the box, just a little piece for the, the sweet sorbet, a small piece of the designer paper, and some white and some black. So let's begin by making the box. So I get my scoreboard and we'll do the scoring first. Okay, so the box is eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, and we're gonna score at two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. Whoop, went two and oh, this keeps on coming off it. Two and three quarters all the way around so two and three quarter and the four size two and three quarters all the way around so that's easy and then while we're scoring my square score the lid and the lid is five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths and this one we scored at half an inch and one and a half and we do that all the way around half an inch and one and a half half an inch one and a half half an inch whoop, half an inch and one and a half so that is all the score done let me put this away We get the bone folder and we burnish all the score lines. It's a very good way of doing a box that is very strong, very steady, and we're only using a very simple layout. So we score all, let's do all while we got the bone folder, let's do that. Burnish all our pieces. I collect that. One more. 
more. Okay, so that's okay. So let's start with the box. So we get the scissors and we're gonna cut from middle here. the first core line and we do some nice notches here on both sides and you gotta make sure when you're doing this that you go right to the corner okay don't cut this off just go straight to the corner and then while you're here like this now you turn around like a pinwheel and now you cut this side so you come all the way down again. And right, see, right there. Okay. And then we're here and we turn around like that again. the notches here and cut here making sure that we get right whoop, to there not cutting any of that off and one more time we spin around it's like the pinwheel and we cut here Take, take this off and again here making sure that we stop right on the corner okay so there's the box see we have cut and spin and cut spin and cut spin and cut okay like a pinwheel right now we turn it to the right side and we're going to put sticky tape on here and the top and I'm gonna burnish this and burnish this so you gotta make sure that the sticky tape is right along this core line so I'm gonna do all that all the way around okay sticky tape is all along Okay, so when you do the sticky type, remember, you must put the sticky type just next to the score line. So, top and bottom. And then you spin and you do the same thing all the way around your box. Now that you've done that, now we take this off. Take that off. And we're going to put this underneath the middle one. Making sure that this line here is just next to that no pass it just in there because otherwise you make the box smaller it's gonna be nice and even to the score line see and you do that all the way around so you take that take that and then this goes underneath and you put it there and then what you're doing is you actually having see double because every time we're going in there, this is going to go on top of that one. So it makes the box, can you see? This goes like this. So then every panel, it have two pieces of cardstock. So it makes the box super steady. Can you see that? Every panel, it have two sides. So it's just perfect. So we'll take that off. It makes the box super steady. that in and the last one and now with my bone folder I make sure that it all the sticky tie is all attached properly into the box 
and now you have a super steady box so that's just the base and now we're going to do the lid for the lid we have I'm not sure if you can see it maybe if I do it with a pencil so you can see it here and here and then you have one here and you have one there can you see now it's a bit better there and there I think you can so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut to the second let's go line like that we do this like this and we remove these two little pieces out remove that off and we take this one off we do some notches here and here and this one here we go like that and this one here we do like this so that's what we got so far then we do the same thing on this side Let me, oh well this is gonna go inside so you won't be able to see it so that we done that now remember when we done that now we spin it around and we do the same thing again like we did on the box down and down and we remove these two and we remove this single one don't worry by the time we go all the way around you'll know exactly what I'm doing so like this and then this is the smaller flap we go like this and we make it nice and even and cut that and then we spin it again and again we go all the way to the second score line to the second score line we cut it like this do a little notch cut this one off notches on here and notches on here and this little small flap we do that and with the last spin, remember every time like a pinwheel. It's hard to see the score line. There. And here. And right here. But I want to take a little bit like this. Take this one off. Cut here. And cut here. Okay, so now we have, oh, and I forgot this bit here, like that. So that is all, we went all the way now around the box. Now I'm going to put some type and then I'll show you where to do the type. Okay, the type is on. All right, so this is the wrong side and this is a tiny flap. So I added type on each edge at the edge of the flap. At the edge see that the score line here and I put the type right at the edge all the way in all around on those smaller flaps then on the right side of your box on these tiny flaps you add sticky type on the score line and on the edge here and you spin it and you put tight and you spin it and you put tight okay so to put the box together, we're going to remove the type and then like we did on the other box, this edge goes to this edge. Just like that, making sure that you don't pass that edge. Again, remove that and this edge got straight to the edge never pass otherwise you make the lid small and again this side and it goes under and making sure that it's just on the edge and then we take this off take that off 
and I've got inside like this and then with the bone folder I just inside making sure that all my flaps are nice and attached and then these little ones remember we're gonna take the types off take the type off all of them and then this little flap just goes in like that fold in you fold this in and this is what makes the lid nice and strong and then with the bone folder I just smooth it out like this make sure that it's all attached nicely and here we have a very steady and a strong lid made just with the paper and that will see just nicely in the box perfect size okay and then to decorate let's tidy this up a bit let's tidy up get rid of some of this stuff let me tidy up okay i tidy up a little bit it was a bit messy over here and now we're going to use these scraps so we can make decorate this box so to decorate this box i'm going to use the uh, little back punch so we need a body and one body so there's the body of the bag and then we need the wings so i'm using the designer paper to make the wings so there's the wings and now out of these two pieces what i'm going to do is i'm going to be using the what's it called the layering diorama dies and i'm going to be using the two smallest ones let me get them out i'm gonna be using the two smaller ones and i'm going to cut the big one on this and the smaller one on this okay so I'll cut them all right and there's the pieces here in the bin and now this I'm going to attach it here like that so it looks like it's a bit of a like sort of thing let me attach that now so like that so that's that and now I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping on here for the stamping I'm gonna be using the high range of heaven. So I'm gonna be using these little flowers, this little smudgy thing, and the uh, for you here. So I already got them in the block. There's the flower here, and the for you is it here. So I'm gonna do some stamping, and I'm gonna use the new in color parakeet party. So I'm gonna use this little smudgy thing. This is a bit too juicy, so let's. What I'm doing, I'm squashing the ink because it's too much on on the. It's just too much ink, so I'm just pushing the ink down a bit because we don't need that much, and I'm gonna stamp a little bit like here just to put color, like if there were leaves. that we pretend that they leaves and then uh, with the same color you now we can go a bit deeper I'm gonna stamp a couple of these little cute little flowers on here and then for you I'm gonna use the sweet sorbet to stamp there for you let's try here see how the ink is yeah that's fine that's why we got some paper isn't it for you here cute so that's done so i got that stamp and i want to put this on dimensionals so i'll get some dimensionals here 
I use three dimensionals here. And we put this on top of the other one. I'm just trying to represent like if it's on a little like of water. So that is here. That. And now for the little bag, for the wings, I'm going to get my designer paper and very gently just fold the wings a tiny little bit. Like that. And I'm going to put two dimensional, tiny dimensional, on the edge of the wing to keep the wings up. And I'll use a little bit of glue on the edge here. And I'm going to attach, get rid of this and that. And we're going to attach this. To the bag so cute so there's a little bag but I wanted wanted to decorate the bag so it looks so what I do what I did is we got the gold this twine the simply elegant trim so I use a little bit of this white trim and I'm gonna use Tiny little bit of glue on the edge here. It's just a bit too much glue, but it's okay because this glue is not sticky. And I will put the trim in there like that and cut cut the trim at the edge. So I only just want a tiny little bit. Just like that. There, like that on the edge and then I'm gonna do a tiny 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 little ball <laughs> it's so hard but you know when you're in the camera everything sort of some hell it's more complicated when you go. Okay. Tiny little ball. Super tiny. I just wanted a tiny, tiny little ball. Just like, whoop, just like that. And then I'm just going to put a little drop of glue here. And we put the bow on top of the glue there, like that. And we put something heavy on top to make it dry, okay? But, of course, I make one earlier because, you know, you have to wait for a few minutes for that to dry. And then I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of my little bag. Two little dimensionals on the bag. And this little bag can go in here like that. And that is a little cute little box. Isn't that isn't she cute? So I think I, I thought of this one for my granddaughter. I thought it was very cute. And this is the one with the flower for a, maybe a more mature person. But I'm going to show you how I did the flower. Oh, sorry about that. So with the flower, I cut with the punch, I cut four large ones and four small ones. I'll get the punch that I use. Okay, this is the punch that I use. Okay, and I got a couple of strips. I already done a few just because, you know, it takes a while to do. But I just got, grabbed a couple just to show you what I did. So 
I punch four of this size and four of the larger size. Of course, if you don't have this punch, you can use different flowers, okay? This is just uh, the one that I'm using because I really like it, okay? So you have two large, four large, four small, and I'll show you how I put the, um, the gilded gold on it. So what I did is I got my Versamark ink, and I use the heat and stick powder. And just a piece of paper, some scraps of paper. Let's move this. Okay, and what you do is you grab your flower and you hold it like this and I just touch the pad. I go all the way around like this and I wet my flower and then I get my tweezers and I dip into the powder like that. And then you get the sticking powder sticking just to the edges. So I show you that again. There's the pad, I get the, the flower, and I just, just the very edge, just like this. I just go like that and go all the way around. Just, just the tips of the flower. And then with the tweezers, I dip it into the glue and stick, spin it, glue and stick. And now I got, I gotta put a bit more in there, glue and stick on the edge of the flower. Okay. Now I'm going to get my heat um, uh, gun and then I'll show you what I did next. Okay, I got my heat gun and then what you do is you just grab and you gotta be super quick with this to get a best result. So before we do that, let me get the, I've got a little box over here and I'll get my gilded, I have to be careful because this goes everywhere, but I love it. I think it's so good. Okay, so we close this, put it over here so it doesn't fly everywhere. And we get the heat gun, tweezers, get a flower. And you gotta be quick. As soon as you see, you can see that it's white. As soon as it changes the color, as soon as it melts, it's done. So it's super quick. Sorry about the noise. It happens very quickly. You can see, okay, it's already melted. Bring this back, put it in, and you put this And that's it, done. Okay, we do the next one. Very sticky. Get the gun. We melt it. As soon as you see it melted, that's it. You don't keep on going, because if you keep on going, what happens is you will dry the glue. And then this will not work because the glue is dry. So as soon as it melted, that's it, it's done. And that's done. I'm going to put the lid on my box and then I can sort this out later. Okay, 
So now we got all our little flowers. So now we get a piercing mat. And I get all my flowers here. Like that. And I get the back of my poker tool and I push hard on it. So you get like a cap like that. So you push quite hard. Super easy. And then I'm gonna put the big ones, all, all the large flowers, like it's like this, and this one goes in between the other two petals. And you keep on going that until you got all the flowers on top of each other. Then with the poker tool, put it in the middle and you make a hole. Like that, all through it. Then you get a little bread, put it through the middle of your flower, and you open it on the back, like that. And then you get each petal like this, and we squish it in the middle. We get the next one. Because you can see the petals and we squish them in like that then we get the next one make sure you're closer and the other petal and the other petal and the other petal and you squish them in like this then we get the next petal you can see it petal and you push them all up until you get to the last one, each flower. Push them right in. Put your fingers under like this, get the petal and push in. See the petal and you push it right in. Right in. And the last ones, I leave them down. But every one, every other one, And then you end up with a beautiful gold leaf flower. I think it's just, I hope you can see it. I hope you see it. And then that goes on top of your box. Then I have used nice ribbon and a little bit of the cardstock just to put it all like together. But I think it's just a nice way of using the gold leafing to make a beautiful flower. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. That will really help my channel. Now down below the video again, there's a link to my blog where you will find more details and pictures of the boxes um, clothes. Um, you can see them better. I try to make my pictures the best I can. And also I will list the description um, and the list of the products of all the, pro you know, all the, 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 the products that I use to make this project. And um, I would love it if you show with me. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Bye for now.